In India, four electric scooters have caught fire in seven days. This is terrifying, especially when there is a strong push for e-vehicles across the world. What caused these vehicles to catch fire? Watch a report to know more. The world is pushing for the adoption of electric vehicles more passionately than ever before. India too is steering towards a battery-powered automobile revolution. It has a vision and a roadmap for green mobility. But the recent reports of electric scooters catching fire in India could discourage many from adopting e-vehicles. This is the OLS S1 Pro electric scooter that burst into flames in the city of Pune. Fortunately, no one was injured due to the fire. Ola has acknowledged the issue and this is what it says in a statement and we quote. We are aware of an incident in Pune that happened with one of our scooters and are investigating to understand the root cause and will share more updates in the next few days. We're in constant touch with the customer who is absolutely safe. Vehicle safety is of paramount importance at Ola and we are committed to the highest quality standards in our products. We take this incident seriously and will take appropriate action and share more in the coming days. This is not the only incident that has rocked the EV fraternity in the country. Recently, an electric scooter made by Okinawa went up in flames in the city of Velour. A man and his 13-year-old daughter died in the tragic incident. According to the company, the fire was caused due to a short circuit while charging the vehicle. The case is still being investigated. This is the second time an Okinawa scooter has caught fire. Another such incident was reported in October last year. No casualties were reported back then. Another electric vehicle player, Pure EV, is also in hot water. A Pure EV scooter caught fire near Manjampakkam, a city in Tamil Nadu. You can see a red color e-bike parked on the side of the highway, engulfed in smoke. The EV startup has taken cognizance of the incident and is investigating what caused it. A few months ago in Gurugram, a 60-year-old man died and four of his family members sustained burn injuries in a fire that broke out in their room after the batteries of an electric two-wheeler exploded during charging. The batteries belong to the Gurugram-based EV firm HCD. Now there are very established safety standards which are basically AIS and ECE standards where the vehicle is supposed to work within parameters of high temperatures as well as very low temperatures. Obviously in these cases something has gone wrong where either uh, there was no thermal warning or there was no cutoff of the vehicle. Because typically before the vehicle reaches those high temperatures of the battery, there is supposed to be a cutting off of the system so that the fires don't happen. These events have put a spotlight on the safety of electric vehicles and have led to skepticism among the public. Both prospective and existing users are now raising questions over the safety standards of the electric vehicles. The Indian government has deputed a team of independent experts to investigate cases of EVs catching fire. But the most important question here is, why are these electric scooters burning? There is no clarity yet on what is causing e-scooters to go up in flames. There are, however, some reports that claim that the vehicles are heating up due to the blazing summer in India. 
This idea seems unconvincing to us, though. There is another concern. Most of the EV firms are said to be dependent on cheap Chinese-made lithium-ion batteries. There is an absence of quality control over the manufacturing of these batteries. There are fears that dubious components or faulty quality could have triggered these fires. Software malfunction could also be the cause of these accidents. But these incidents are not just restricted to India. Electric vehicles made by Tesla, Hyundai and General Motors have also caught fire giving their owners in countries such as the US and China similar terrifying experiences. Manufacturers are aggressively pushing their ambitious EV plans and perhaps taking risky shortcuts. We would also like to say this, while EV players around the world must be held accountable and asked to improve their safety standards, it's also important that EV owners follow the best practices to have a safe experience with their eco-friendly vehicles. Here are some of them. Many of us are new to electric vehicles, so it is important that we understand how an electric vehicle works. Read the booklet that comes with the vehicle carefully to handle it properly. It's best to keep your electric vehicle at room temperature, so avoid parking your electric vehicle for long hours in direct sunlight. To charge your EV, use the charger that has been approved by your manufacturer. Do not use any third-party or non-genuine charger. If your EV is charging, don't leave it unattended. Please do not charge the batteries within one hour of use. Let the battery cool down for some time before charging it. Never leave the electric vehicle on charging overnight. The battery and charger should be stored in a clean, dry and ventilated place. As far as possible, avoid fast chargers as it loads the system and also decrease the life cycle of the battery. It's important to keep a tab on the health of the battery of your electric vehicle. Every electric vehicle has a battery management system that sends an alert in case of any abnormalities. Do not ignore it. Get your electric vehicle serviced on time. This helps in ensuring that everything is functioning normally. Electric vehicles play a critical role in replacing fossil fuels in the transport sector, and the demand for them is on the rise. However, manufacturers must ensure that safety is not compromised for the sake of mass production.